Hey guys, Tammy Trier, TrierWilderness.com. I just did a video on how to milk the goats and I thought I would take the time to bring you into the kitchen and show you what I do with the milk once I get inside. Um, to me it's really important how I care for my milk. Um, I'm very cautious on how I feed my family and I want to give them the best. So, um, even though we use the brush outside, there's still hair that gets into your milk that may grow some of you out. But it's not a big deal and it's very easily remedied. Um, I use my canning funnel and I use a um, plastic mesh um, colander in here. It sits on the edge of this which makes it really nice and I use a piece of cheesecloth. Just a small piece of cheesecloth cut to size. Just tuck it in there real nice. You want to make sure that the ends are not down in um, because those little hairs do sneak past and will go through the um, colander. So that's the reason you need the cheesecloth. You do really do need that. Um, the colander isn't just enough because the hairs will go through that. Just put it on your jar and you can just pour it in here real simply. And that's all really there is to it. Like I said, the biggest thing you want to do is make sure that you get your milk in a cold place quickly. I've been freezing a lot of our milk um, because we are getting so much more than we consume in a day's time. We are getting a gallon or even more than a gallon a day. Um, so my dogs are going to be really unhappy. They get their milk in the morning and they try to get milk in the afternoon if I have extra in my bucket. But really that's all there is to it. Just tap that off, put it in there, and you're good to go. So just put a lid on this, put it in your fridge. Um, you can use freezer containers. I use Tupperware containers. This is just an example of the types of containers I use to freeze my milk. This is a quart. So this is great to freeze and bring out and make my cheese so that the Mountain Boy has uh, cheese for our Friday night pizzas. So um, I really encourage you to um, take on animals like this. It just takes you to another level of self-sufficiency. Um, so, and I've got to run right now and go gather eggs and make sure all the chickens are in the coop. We actually just started um, free-ranging our chickens, which is awesome. Um, they've been cooped up for the last three years. We have wolves that come in really close, but it just, we felt that they'd be better off being free-ranged and we figured we'd give it a try. So, it's been working out really good. They go back to the coop at night and we just close it back up so weasels and things can't get into the coop at night and uh, keep an eye out during the day, keep the shotgun handy in the event that we have wolves or coyotes coming in. Um, we do have eagles, owls, and um, hawks that come in also so you can't really avoid that but um, they're pretty smart that chickens are so they hide under the pines and in varying places but it's really neat to look out and see them wandering the yard and you can tell they're really happy they just are becoming more social and just enjoying being out there so I know that sounds funny but it's a homestead animal and us homesteaders like to watch our animals wandering so anyway um, thanks for joining me um, and again I encourage you to take another step further if you can into self-sufficiency and get yourself some chickens or some goats um, again if you have children with autism I highly suggest using goat's milk even if you don't get goats you can get goat's milk from breeders and, and from the health food stores and I recommend it because it's um, good for their digestive system and dairy cow's milk is extremely hard on their digestive system and for Austin our son it caused um, him to lose the sensation of his bowels and also to just be on an emotional roller coaster ride so consider that and think about that we try to educate on autism and share our knowledge as much as possible so be sure to visit us at treyerwilderness.com thanks for joining me and you guys take care and God bless